I heard some posts coming through the letterbox earlier on. Maybe I dreamt it. Can I go fishing today, Mum? You know, I swear that new postman dumps half his letters in the hedge. Oh. You haven't seen him do it, have you? <laughs> no, Mum. Perhaps there just isn't any post today. We haven't had our electricity bill yet either. I hope they don't send us a red demand because we haven't paid it. What happens if you don't pay it at all? They cut you off. Oh, dear. Red demands always upset me. Oh, dear. By the way, Simon, where did you get to last night? You were very late. Come in. Hello. Are you ready? Can I go fishing with Jimmy today, Mum? I suppose so. Great. Hang on. I'll make you some sandwiches. Of course. Thanks, Mum. George. George, you've been eating the furniture again. Oh, oh, I've been up all night vacuuming, and all you can do is eat. Oh, just you wait. <laughs> oh, get him, get him, get him. Dragging your feet. And keep your elbows up! But it hurts, Auntie. Well, of course it hurts. That's how you know it's doing you good. Oh, Cuthbert, don't flag. Cuthbert, do you see me lying in a heap on the sofa? Puny child. I think I shall get Hopkins to phone Sally and ask her to join us. She's very keen on keeping fit. Perhaps she might shame you into making some sort of effort. That's what I saw, Maria. More spaghetti. More spaghetti. Ciao. Ciao. Two pipes, please. That old Tati lady uh, make a leaflet to advertise Valdini's cafe. Now she so many customers. I give her extra special a big free ice cream when she come in. Well... Perhaps I give her half a price. Free. Uh, free. Uh, where are your friend uh, Cuthbert to die? He's not one letting come out with us. Why? Nice boys like you. She doesn't think we are, and she doesn't like the places we go to either. Oh, lady Foxy Custard, very important lady. She thinks she is. I get a feeling she no like my cafe, and if she no like it, miserere. Oh well, I'm just glad I'm not Cuthbert. That's all. So am I. In some ways, I'm quite lucky, aren't I? Look like a thunder. Uh, you all better stay and have a ice cream now, or you get assaulted. I don't think it's a thunderstorm at all. What do you mean? What's African and flaps through the air on a broomstick? Come on! Ouch! Oh. I thought so. It's the witch's sister, Tombola. I say, that was a bad landing, wasn't it? You crashed. Don't rub it into your heart. How about helping me in with this lot? Is the witch expecting you? No. I tried to make a trunk call, but the elephant was engaged. What's all this din about? Look what the wind's blowed in. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> My sister Tom Bowler. <laughs> hey! Hey! How many of you are there? Only me. I've come to stay with you, dear heart. Uh, come on, boys. Chop, chop. Help me get this stuff inside. And... Come on, Jimmy. How long did you say you were staying? I didn't, dear 
heart, but it's only for a holiday, you know. Well, how long do holidays last? There's rules about them. You get five weeks at summer, two weeks at Christmas, three weeks at Easter. Witches don't believe in rules. All right, I just thought I'd tell you. Anyway, this isn't so much a holiday as a rest cure on doctor's orders. Witch doctor? Exactly. I went to a witch doctor's convention and we all agreed I had it. What? Junglitis nervosa. You could ask for a second opinion. I had dozens of second opinions. Even Dr. Livingston agreed. I've got jugglitis nervosa. Well, I've got titchy ass full of stuff nervosa. And last term I had chronic schoolitis. But I had to put up with it and didn't come and land on you. Don't be so long in the face, old thing. We're going to have a great time, you and I. Did you bring that gorilla again? What was he called? Banana, did you? Yeah. Sorry. Couldn't bring banana. He got married. Banana did? Mm, fell in love. Who is? Another gorilla, of course. Of course. But I have brought along some of my other friends. Is one of them in here? No. Talking of titchy house full of stuff, I brought my own accommodation. It's a tent. Great! We're going to make a camp. Well, where are you going to put it? On your back lawn, of course. Come on. Simon, rescue that boy. It's like fighting with an octopus. Don't tempt me. Trust you. It's a shame Cuthbert's not here. He'd have enjoyed this. I know. Still, we should be grateful that Angelica's not here. Oh, how did you get away from her? She still thinks I'm in bed. Come in. Hello. Oh, hello, Angelica. Oh, you do look nice. What a pretty dress. Do you like it? It's my favourite. Of course, I've got lots of lovely clothes. Of course. In fact, sometimes I find it hard to choose. Don't you? No, not really. Oh, I do. I mean, today I nearly put on my pink dungarees with the boopy pat and the fluffy rabbit's tail. Mummy says it's really cute. But then I changed my mind, and I was just putting my rainbow troopies on when I caught sight of a lovely designer tracksuit my mummy brought me to go skiing with last year. It's got gold lame on the epaulets. But when I got it on, I thought it wasn't as nice as this dress. Oh, dear, you do seem to have a lot of clothes. Would you like to see them all one day? Oh. I could give you a proper fashion show and everything. I'll give you one now. Shall I? Uh. Have you got a cat? A cat? No, why? Because I need a catwalk, of course. Keep the tail in, oh. my ladyship. Bend much further. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Legs further apart, Cuthbert. Keep in time with the music. Oh. Faster, oh. faster, faster. All right, take a break. Don't sit down your muscles, or Caesar. Wow! Now, touching toes. Stand with your feet slightly apart. Don't stick your feet out, Cuthbert. You're not a duck. Now, drop your body and swing to the right foot. Left hand touching toes. Right hand swings up high behind you. I said swing to the right, your ladyship. Look, watch me. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Now, you do it. Don't bend your knees. But it hurts if I don't bend my knees. Of course it does. It's meant to. Oh. Now, don't forget to breathe. I think I'm dying. Oh, so am I. I've had enough exercise to last me a lifetime. Bring that mallet over here, young man. Ooh. What did you want to do that for? We were enjoying ourselves. Oh, please yourselves. Good. Now, you hold the pole up for a minute. And, of course, you haven't seen me in my eight-piece beach outfit, have you? It's got a skirt and a sun top and a bolero and a swimsuit and a hat Do and a scarf. Do you want something, dear? Oh, yes. How's Simon? Oh, uh, he was ill, wasn't he? Well, he's much better today. Oh, good. Can he come and play with me, then? Well, he's out, actually. Oh. Where is he? Oh, um... Oh, I can't seem to remember. Never mind. Perhaps I could stay and help you cook something nice for tea instead. Oh, I wouldn't want you to spoil your pretty dress. Oh, 
it's all right. I've got a proper pin at home with frills on and everything. I could go and fetch it if you like. Oh, no, there's really no need. It's no bother. Honestly, I love making gooey cakes. Don't you? And I'm awfully good at it. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I can continue the little ballet dance I know while they're baking. Oh, I've just remembered how silly of me to forget. Simon said he was going to visit an old lady he knows. Oh, I'd like to visit her too. Shall I? I don't see why not. I'll get you the address. I'm so glad you remembered. Oh, so am I. He's a kind boy, isn't he? My mummy says it's terribly important to make old people feel they're wanted. Yes, although some of them are very independent. It does seem a pity to leave you alone with all that baking. Oh, I'll manage, dear. There's still something missing. Yes, I wonder what it is. I know. And you've no need to feed me either, dear heart. I brought my own supplies. What have you got? Frozen flying fish, marinated mongoose, salted centipedes, smoked scorpion, canned canary, dried doodlebugs, a stuffed porcupine, complete with spines, a rare delicacy, and condensed cactus milk. You've got enough there to last for weeks. Yes. And when that's finished, I'll... Go home. Go round to the supermarket and see what they've got. Did you say you brought some... Friends with you? Yes, my little pets. Where are they? Hello, Simon. Your mummy said I'd find you here. Oh, no. Is she real? Ouch! <laughs> of course I'm real. I was lonely. I've come to play. Good. Then you've come to the right place. <gasps> this is nice. A oh, marquee. Are you having a garden party? Yes. Yes, you. <gasps> oh, good thinking. A cannibal party. <laughs> oh, Simon! <laughs> They're only teasing you. Oh, she does live next door to me, and if her mummy started saying silly things to my mum, I'd be in terrible trouble. <gasps> oh, Simon, you are wonderful. So, you're the sugar plum fairy. Oh, no. Are you a witch? Yes. So am I. Shall we play hunt the treasure? All right. All right. And I know where the treasure is. <laughs> My little pets. <laughs>